All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of the internet. We are back with another Mr. Piece of Plays MTG Arena Standard Brawl Deck Tech. Earlier this week, we had colorless. Now we're going five color. And the guy I picked is Kenrith the Returned King. He's a five mana white four colorless for a five five, which he has five different abilities so all creatures gain trample and haste until the end of turn for a red so that ability for a green it is a green and a colorless put a one one counter on target creature for white it is a white and two colorless target player gains five life for a blue it's one blue and three colorless uh, target player draws a card and for four and a black target player or target creature put target creature from a graveyard Onto the battlefield under its owner's control. So I would imagine in like four player, multiplayer, commander, this would be a very group huggy uh, commander. But in brawl and standard, it is not. It's a card engine. So I'll do everything in one kind of card. We're playing the deck a little different than your normal Kenrith. It's not a Kenrith good stuff deck. As you can see, it says Kenrith Cycling. So we just have a bunch of cycling cards and then the end what we're trying to do is ramp out our cyclers slow them down and then just card generate them out and then use kenrith to return the big cyclers which we'll see at the very end give them haste and then whack them so we have the valiant rescuer puts a little um, one one so whenever you cycle another card for the first time each turn Create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token, and you can cycle it for two. It's a 3-1. Ominous Seas is another way the deck can win, just by drawing cards and making big 8-8s. Eight it is a blue and a colorless for a, an enchantment. Whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on Ominous Seas. Remove eight foreshadow counters from Ominous Seas. Create an 8-8 eight, eight blue kraken creature token, and has cycling two. Darneth Stinger is a 2-mana two 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cycle another card, Darnest Stinger deals one damage to each opponent, and you can pay one to cycle it. Go for Blood is a two mana target creature. You control fights another target creature you don't control, and a cup you can cycle for one. Breaking Claws target creature gains double strike until the end of turn for a red and a colorless at instant speed or cycling two. We can use this with one of the two big or three big beefy cycling creatures to uh, end the game. Shredded Sails, choose one, destroy target artifact, or Shredded Sails deals four damage to target creature with flying, so it gets rid of the ramp artifacts or any pesky artifact that you run into, and it also deals with a flyer, and it has cycling too. Wilt, destroy target artifact or enchantment for a green and a colorless, it is instant, and you can cycle. Neutralize is just counter spell with cycling too. We can pay two blue and a white to counter or a colorless to counter target spell. Memory leak target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from that player's graveyard or hand. Graveyard is important here and exile it. It costs a black and two colorless or one to cycle. Suffocating fumes is a black and two colorless instant to give all your creatures or your opponent controls minus one minus one until the end of turn. You can cycle it for two mana. Frostville Ambush is an instant at five, two blue and three colorless. Tap up to two target creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. And you can pay one. Cycle it. This is a six mana, three six dinosaur with vigilance. But the key thing is it cycles for one mana. So you can get it in your graveyard cheap. You can return it if needed with Kenrith. Or you can hard cast it for six. And then you have a blocker back typhoon this card is really cool uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell create an xx blue shark creature token with flying where x is that spell is converted in mana cost it is a six mana enchantment so it's a little bit expensive but it cycles for a blue a colorless and x and when you cycle shark typhoon create an xx blue creature token with flying so it's an interesting card that plays well with because a lot of the cyclers are a little bit over costed for what they do but also they are they're actually pretty solid 
Boon of the Wish Giver is a six mana sorcery to draw four cards for two blue and four colorless, but you can cycle it for one mana. So those are the spell cyclers in the deck. Moving on, we have ramp and then one ramp spell. And the yes, there are ramp spells with cycling attached. Arcane Signet and one man of any color in your commander's color identity. So it adds Uberg. Then we have the one, two, three, four, five crystals. The Sav Save Crystal. It's a three mana. Taps for a red, a, blue, a red, a white, or a black. And you can cycle it for two. Katria Crystal. Three mana. Taps for a blue, a uh, green, or a red. Cycle for two. Idatha, Indatha Crystal is a three mana, taps for a white, a black, or a green, cycle for two. Rao Grin Crystal is three mana, does tap for a blue, a red, or a white, and cycle it for two. And then the Zagroth Crystal is three mana to tap for a black, a green, or a blue, and you can cycle it for two. And finally, we have M Migration Path is a four mana sorcery search your library for up to two basic land cards put them onto the battlefield tap and shuffle your library or you can cycle it for two so this draw this deck has so much card draw with the cyclers if you think hey what cycling card did i miss put it in the comments below and maybe consider liking and subscribing so i can i don't know it makes me feel nice fun let me just have some removal blanketing Trying to get as many different things as we can. We have Blood Chief's Thirst. We can destroy a little thing. So destroy target creature or planeswalker with converted mana cost two or less. Or if you kick it for a two and a black plus the original cost, you can destroy target creature or planeswalker. Banishing Light is an enchantment for a white and two colorless. It enters the battlefield. Exile target non land permanent with. An opponent controls until Banishing Light leaves the battlefield. Mythos of Nethroi. So as a three mana instant, destroy target and land permanent. It's a creature. Or if you pay a white and a green with the black, you can destroy any non land permanent. Shatter to the sky. We want to all, pretty much all of the big wraths that we can get in the format. Uh, this is one of those. There's a five mana black one that I don't have and i haven't put in but you could add that if you want to can't remember but each player who controls a creature with power four or greater draws a card then destroy all creatures extinction event is a sorcery for a black and three colorless choose odd or even exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value hero is evil. liliana walker of the dead Four mana, four loyalty planeswalker, plus one. Each player discards a card, and who can't loses three life. So you, with all the cycling cards, it's you're okay with discarding them if you have to, because the card that's coming up, it's minus three as target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. So with all the cycling that we're doing and all the cards that we're ripping through to get to our big boys, um, you can kill pretty much anything. And then it's minus seven. You get an emblem with at the beginning of combat on your turn. A target creature card from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control. It gains haste. So you can get something from your opponent's graveyard or from your own graveyard. Storm's Wrath, four mana, blue, red, red, two colorless for a sorcery. It deals four damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Zenith Flare. This is a standard card. Um being play right now with the cycling deck i play that deck and it's lots of fun uh, for a white a red and two colorless zenith flare deals x damage to any target and you gain x life rex is a number of cards with cycling ability in your graveyard there are a lot you can get this card up to a lot if you need to and uh you can kill most things realm cloak giant has the sorcery of five, three and two white for cast off. Destroy all non-giant creatures. I think this might end up being in some form of standard deck in the future with Kalmheim coming and looking at the spoilers and there's a lot of giants so far. So maybe, maybe this will see some play. Otherwise it is a seven mana, seven, seven with vigilance. 
Heliod's Intervection, X and two white. Choose one, destroy target X target artifacts and or enchantments, one you're most likely gonna do. Or target player gains X twice X life. So you can gain a lot of life with this if you need to. Hopefully you don't. Then we have Emery's Call. I just wanted to play it. Um, you get two four four white angel warrior creature tokens with flying and non angel creatures you control gain indestructible until your next turn. I thought this was a fun one to play. Then we have Fires of Intervention. If you've played against Kenrith in any way, shape, or form in Brawl in the past, or you play yourself, I imagine you run this card. Um, the ability to play, th play things for free. Mind you, it's only on your turn. You can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. But by being able to use Kenrith's ability in all the cycling, we're able to draw into the cards we want to play. Uh, you may cast spells with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of lands you control without paying their mana cost. If we get four lands in the play. We can play a large majority of our deck. Then we have our big beefy cycling boys. We have the Titan Titanoloth Rex, nine mana, eleven eleven Trampler, with a green and a colorless to cycle. When you cycle, put a Trample counter on target creature you control. We have the Void Beckoners, an 8 8 for 7 with Death Touch for a black and two colorless. You can cycle it, and when you do, put a Death Touch counter on target creature you control. We have the Greater Sandworm, is a 7 mana, 7 7. Probably this is the my least favorite or the least strong of the cycler uh, big creatures that we can play. Greater Sandworm can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. You can pay 2 colorless to cycle it. So if you get one of these into your graveyard early enough, pay Kenrith, and then pay six four and black mana or a black and four a colorless to put one of them on the grave on the battlefield. Uh, give all your creatures trample and haste and whack. Anyways, it's kind of fun. We have the three tomes, the Savai Triome enters the battlefield tapped and cycles for a red or for Mardu colors. Katrina or Ketria Triome enters the battlefield tap, cycle for three, adds Hemer colors. In Indatha Triome enters the battlefield tapped, cycle, adds Abzan colors. Uh, Ragrin Triome enters the battlefield tapped, you can cycle it for three, and adds just sky colors. And finally, Zagoth Triome, it enters the battlefield tapped, cycle it for three mana, it adds Sultai colors. We have three basic forests, one mountain, two swamps, one island, four plains, and we have a fabled passage, command tower, and then the five pathways. Uh, uh, Boros pathway, rural pathway, the Izzet pathway, the Demir pathway, and the Orjo pathway. We're getting the other pathways pretty soon. And that's it. That's Kenrith Cycling. At least my version of Kenrith Cycling. If you uh, enjoyed the content, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Makes me feel good to see those likes, uh, see the views. Fun. And thank you for watching. A wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And coming up soon, there will be Kenrith the Return King gameplay session video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.